Hello everyone. So if you guys don't see our Instagram account, we've started something new where occasionally we ask people to ask us nutrition questions. And so there was a great one today that I really want to discuss with you guys. So the question was, I just watched What the Health, which is a documentary that talks about um, eating meat and dairy products. And the person said, I just watched this documentary and now I'm afraid to eat anything. So can you give me your thoughts on that? And so so very similar to the video that Kelly posted last week that talked about you guys are smart, you can do some research, you can figure out that a company that's selling weight loss pills and caffeine patches is not going to be super successful. This person that watched this video, or uh, documentary, I'm sorry, was very concerned that um, eating meat and dairy products was basically going to kill them. And this is a really good example of you guys need to check facts. You are smart when in doubt, ask questions like that. It's awesome that this woman was trying to educate herself. But when you are educating yourself, check your sources. Look at multiple different studies. If you have questions about things, then do due diligence, do research, and make sure that you're not just buying into fear mongering because essentially that's what that documentary is. The whole idea, and they interview experts and uh, people that are um, very supposedly have done a lot of research that shows that people that eat meat and dairy products get cancer, they get a lot of other chronic diseases and things like that. They're pushing their own agenda, and so. If we look at the studies that have been out for the last 15, 20 years, eating moderate amounts of lean proteins, and so those are the proteins that you guys are used to eating, lean chicken breast, 99% fat-free ground turkey, fish, um, and occasionally lean beef, as well as dairy products in moderation, especially low-fat dairy, are part of a very healthy diet. And so if anyone tries to tell you differently, unless you have a specific allergy or specific medical diagnosis, those things are part of a very healthy diet, and you should include them in there, unless, of course, you are vegetarian or vegan um, for different reasons, whether they're health reasons or environmental reasons or, you know, whatever the case is. So the lesson of this is that, you know, go out and educate educate yourselves. It's great that people want to learn about nutrition, want to learn how to take better care of their bodies. But when you are trying to learn, make sure that you ask the right questions and that you don't just take something at face value. So my two cents for the day. Happy Wednesday, everybody. If you have not entered our reviews contest, go do it. Um, that closes on Monday the 11th. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks.